nobody is ever really out of the military. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and if you are like thousands of service members this year, you aren't just trying to get out. You are trying to turn your back on the Army or the Marines or the Air Force or the Navy and never have anything to do with them again. I mean, you are throwing your boots over the power line and trying to purge every piece of camouflage from your wardrobe. All right, all right. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you're just moving on to your next big adventure. Maybe you're retiring from a successful career. But even then, you could be standing around looking at all these boxes going, I, I just don't need this stuff. But when I was approaching my military retirement, there was something a three-star general told me that just rang like a bell of truth. He said, the door back into government service is always open. No matter how much you doubt that you'll ever come back into the military or take a government job, it might happen. And you want to be prepared for that eventuality. And that means you might want to think about your own personal John Wick box. See, in the movie John Wick, there's this reformed assassin who gets dragged back into a world of violence. And at a pivotal moment, he goes down into his basement and he breaks up the concrete floor to reveal that he has a box that contains all the tools of his trade. As you leave the military, I suggest that you think about what things you would put in your personal John Wick box. I mean, you don't want 18 boxes of stuff to go rummaging through when that unmarked black helicopter lands in your backyard. For me, I mainly had extracts of law, policy, and regulation for the things I've been working on, particularly the pieces that were hard to find or were pivotal to the stuff that I had been doing. I had a couple of concept sketches of how I understood things fitting together, and then I had a couple of guides for how some important data systems worked. Essentially, what I had was a quick refresher course on those things that I had been a subject matter expert on. Another thing you might want in this box is a little CYA material, but I wouldn't go too crazy with it. At a minimum, you probably want to hang on to the hand receipts that show that you turned in everything you were assigned. And if you were in a position that might have led to you being investigated, you might want to also include some supporting documents. Now, there is one thing that you do not want in your John Wick box, and that is classified documents. In fact, the way I see it, you don't actually want any government material that hasn't been approved for public release. For those kind of things, you, you might keep a note about what their names were or where they were located, and you also might save copies of them on government computers in places that are easy for you to find. Although I would tell you that while those pre-decisional government documents seem really important in the moment, the truth of the matter is that they age quickly as new people build new briefs about the same old problems. The bottom line is, Congratulations on your transition out of the military. I'm happy for you and I'm, I'm proud of your accomplishments. But I bet that you're more likely to end up in a similar position again than you realize. And as always, I want you to be as successful as possible. In the meantime, take a look at this video to see how you can write a surprisingly good resume.